Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial and today we'll be designing this cool illustration animation where this butterfly kind of changes its form and morphs into another butterfly um, and on click this animation happens. You can use this on a website or even inside an application as just a simple cool animation. And this will take us less than 5 minutes, so without further ado, let's just get started. Now for this we will require four simple artboards, you can uh, make it of any measurement. Uh, right now these are basically of 1254 by 1254 in size. So all this requires is an illustration which I downloaded. Here are the illustrations, I will be giving the XD file down in the description along with the illustration so you can just download it and get started so since uh, you see here we have to import this .ai file so i'll just exit this and i'll come back to xd and from file i will go to import and i'll go to downloads and i will search for the butterfly folder but as you can see hand drawn butterfly and .ai file. So this is the file we want to import. Go ahead and click on import. And it'll take a couple of seconds and there you go. So we've imported this file now and if you double click multiple times into this and go to the layers panel, you'll be able to see that these are actually uh, so many parts which have been combined. So uh, specifically for these complex illustrations, this works best. So what are we going to do is uh, let's create a new artboard. Let's just make it a small square artboard. That's it. And we will double click on this illustration and we will select the top left butterfly, which is group 14. And we will go ahead and copy it over here. Just command C or control C. And we'll make it much larger so it kind of covers up the entire screen maybe a little larger than this as well okay now group 14 if i double click here it'll expand this i want to remove any extra parts here so that there are only two groups inside each other and i'll double click this group and there are so many parts hundreds of parts uh all we have to do is we have to rename these groups and these parts so the grouping is super easy if I rename this, I'll rename it as group 1 and the other one is group 2. And for these, I'm going to quickly tell you a trick. Select the first one, go to the bottom. As you see, this is the last path. Hold shift and select the last path. So you can see all of these have been selected. Once these have been selected, go to plugins. And if you haven't downloaded this plugin yet, go to the plugins discover plugin section and uh, in the search uh, search for rename and this will pop up a, a cool plugin called rename it it's free of cost and go ahead and install it i've already done that and go to plugins and say rename it and rename selected layers as simple as that now from the keywords here select the number sequence ascending this option and let everything be default and I'm going to click on rename as you can see all these uh, parts of this butterfly have been renamed to from 1 to 1288 so you, as you can see the first one is number one uh, so that was step number one we'll quickly move on to step number two uh, say command D to duplicate this artboard and pick any other butterfly of choice. I'm gonna pick this blue one and copy this over here. And make sure that the, uh, this butterfly is the same size as the butterfly which it, it is replacing, as so. And I'll delete the other butterfly and I'll select this and place it in the center, just like that. Now again, we have to do the same thing here. We have to make sure that there are only two groups. And the first group will be group one. 
and the next group will be group 2. By the way, I will be linking the XD file down in the description so you can go ahead and download it as well. Perfect. And I'm going to select this path and the last path while holding shift to select all of these parts. Go to plugins again, say rename it and go to rename selected layers and select the number sequence ascending. You can do it in descending or any other order as well. The path names should just be the same in all the artboards. So I will say rename and it should rename all of these parts. So that was it. That was that was all you had to do. Now we're going to prototype it and we will uh, on tap uh, on tapping this butterfly. We should animate the butterfly and we'll say ease out one second and remember to check auto animate. And on the other artboard, we're just going to bring it back so that it circles around. And that's about it. Let's see the preview now. If I click on this butterfly, it should animate as such. This is a cool morphing animation. Uh, which was inspired by another morphing animation uh, that another artist did and I just kind of uh, picked that idea up. So all you, the trick is to rename the groups or the parts uh, the same in both the artboards. So in both the cases you will see the same group name and the same path names. You can do this with any complex uh, illustration just pick it up I picked this illustration from um, an, an, another free source at which I will be linking down in the description I hope you liked that video if you did go ahead and subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon as I post every Monday and Thursday without any mistakes so uh, go ahead and like this video as well and share this video with all your design buddies and I will see you guys next week with another awesome tutorial.